Hey guys, this is Kraus. Welcome back everybody to Evil Bank Manager. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure to give this video a like and also leave some nice feedback in the comment section. And ladies and gentlemen, a few weeks ago I did like a first look of this, of this game and you guys seem to enjoy it quite a bit because the feedback was absolutely amazing. And people still ask me, Kraus, when is the next episode? So I guess let's do a little mini series. And I also asked the game devs if I could receive a few keys for a giveaway in each episode. And keys I have received. So thank you so much House of Gaming for the keys. We're gonna have about five keys to give out in each episode. If you guys want to participate, do check out the description and also check out the Steam link in the description to the game if you guys find this game interesting but no time to waste so let's go and become an evil bank manager so previously when i played this we did play in west i'm like i want to pick east but man i'm not really that familiar with those countries over there so i guess west one more time uh, we did choose the conqueror previously and that is uh, the cost of maintaining branches in country of england is 25 percent lower and also opening new countries uh, cost 25 percent cheaper that is something, but we already done that. Maybe the diplomat, what is that? The cost of maintaining branches in the country of France. Oh, those French frogs. Uh, that would be kind of delicious. Uh, you know what? And politics. Let's go diplomat. What possibly could go wrong? Capitalist. That would be the way to go as well. But uh, diplomat it is. Let's conquer France. Maybe not, however, because uh, friends is big. Let's go. Previously went easy. Let's go medium. No time to waste. Welcome. Name of the bank. So, as I said in the previous episode, I am not that creative. So, let's just call this Evil Bank of Keralis, also known as Ebok or Kobe backwards. Would you put your money in, into Evil Bank of Keralis? I think nobody would. Accept this and let's check out the world map. So, previous first look video we did, we did a holy crusade with the Pope. We pretty much conquered the whole region, we wiped Aragon of the face of the earth and the Pope was victorious with tons of cash. But today, well, let's do something different. Man, it will be kind of cool going into Asia somewhere about. Like getting some of those scanners, what is that over here? Kamchatka. I can even afford Kamchatka, but uh, how sad that would be. Is it like in the middle of nowhere? How about, how about going India? But now we picked West, dang it. There's so many small little bits of territories over here. That would be so neat, just conquering all of them. But uh, no, let's go Europe. We picked France. Uh, however, France is very, very expensive. Uh, they do have a lot of cheese, frogs and wine. But uh, 204,000, 55k. I can't really afford, what is that? Brittany. But Brittany is going to be wiped out straight off by, by France, I kind of feel like. They're going to go into war straight off. Potatoes in Ireland. You know what? No. Let's go, Brittany. What do you have? You have luxurious resources in form of, I believe, that is first. Regions 1, Army 21. Doesn't matter. Open branch in Brittany. Let's go to diplomacy and let's have a meeting. Shake some hands. Perfect. Done it. We're amazing. But uh, now, the first thing you need to do in this game is go into headquarters and we're going to hire some people. We need to hire somebody into investment, credits, espionage, and guards. So let's find somebody. Suiting for each category. Experts? Yes, please. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, I know. Ooh, nine here. And what is that? Hire this person. This is the espionage department, I believe. Boom. Set him in over here. Andrew Broadshaw. Shaw. Please welcome to the Bank of Kiraz. The evil Bank of Kiraz, that is. Find somebody else? Who do we find? Ladies and gentlemen, we are six turns in out of 300 and the investment department just came back with something amazing to invest in. The tree felling business. However, it is super expensive. But I guess we can afford it. We do have property for eight and a half and also we do have some resources. So let's just sell them away. Sell civilian goods. Please do. And then let's go to this and let's maybe sell the fur bearing animal farm. Boom. You might, but, but why girls? Don't you guys worry about that. Let's buy this guy over here. And now we have the possibility to make weapons, bows and crossbows. And by the way, for those who are brand new to the game, let me just explain. Okay. So we do have a world map, which is pretty much this. We have the little Brittany over here. We had the French frogs over here. Then they are attacking. I have not, I'm not really sure about the history of Brittany. So I'm not really sure what this is all about. But. But um, anyhow, we do have an espionage department, which is pretty much those guys who negotiate and also they start revolutions later on and, and send out spies and whatnot. We have the credit department, which is pretty much a lending department. So for example, uh, Brittany wants to lend some money. 1400 bucks. Yes, I'm going to lend them and I'm going to get some money back with interest. The guards, those guys pretty much uh, help us to 
tick back depths and whatnot in later stage. So those are quite vital. Investment, we've seen that. This is kind of like stuff we can invest in. And iron wood is going to be vital. We have farms, industry, luxury, real estate. And then we have this, which is the armory. And this is where the magic happens, because next turn I will be able to make some uh, bows or crossbows. And you know what? I'm going to do auto production. Let's do this as, I guess, secondary. Let's do the bows like that. I'm not, I think this is how it works, however. So I'm not sure. Let's go halberds and swords as the last one over here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 438 crossbows. We can either trade them away straight off, or I just noticed our war has begun. Who is fighting? Is it the French frogs? Who is this? Nevers, South Wallonia, is fighting against Austria. But uh, Nevers has quite a few friends. Minstor, Braunschweig, Ditchmarschen, Köln, Klev, Aachen and Lorraine is helping out. So what we could do here, we could even help, uh, help Austria win this war uh, with our crossbows and maybe even have some money invested in this war. But one thing I'm afraid of, there's two turns until this war begins and uh, the, French, the French armies, I, I bet you, they've seen Brittany over here and they're ready to strike. And I'm like, hey, should we invest in that war? Let's see, if I would click one more time, what happens? Okay, so far nothing. Let's see here, in the investment possibilities, iron. Oh my goodness, that gives so much. We can't afford it, but we could do this. We could trade away the, the wood and invest in iron instead. That is not the wise choice, Corrales. Let me see here. How much is that? We will get sell price 18,000 bucks. I'm not happy, but I, I want to have the iron. Can we see how much the iron gives us per turn? No, we can't really. But man, I want to have the mine. I want to have an iron mine because I want to create swords and such. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to get rid of this. Might have been a terrible mistake, but let's invest in this guy over here and hopefully for the next uh, next turn we will, we will have some uh, halberds or even maybe swords. I guess halberds because that is kind of like auto-crafting and it's free over here. The war has begun in Brittany. I told you guys, I told you the French people will, would, would attack. And now this has come to a standstill because like my stuff is kind of under siege. So there's four turns which I can't pretty much do nothing in. Let me see, if I would click this... <sighs> okay. Uh, well, I need to join this war. I need to help out Brittany, because this is where my first bank is. And so far, they don't really have much army over here. As you can see, the army cost of theirs is just 4,390, mine is 2,400. Which means if I join the war, sell all my weapons over here, that kind of shifts the tide of the wars over here a little bit. We shall never surrender! <laughs> With a strange accent. <laughs> and I'm gonna invest some gold as well. Let's just invest 7,400 in this. And I will receive one more mine in, uh, in Brittany. That's perfect. Love it. So let's see here. Next turn. Two. One. By the way, are my guys finding anything? I don't think they are during war times. No, they aren't. Dang it. Wasting so many turns over here. Boom. Congratulations. The country of Brittany, with our support, was able to smash the forces of the state of France. Our investments in the territory of the winner have not lost their value. Perfect. I love it, which means I've taken this. Guyenne. Guyenne, that is amazing. So now we have two territories. You might be like, but yeah, yeah, this is good. Because now what we could do, we can go over here. Uh, not over here. We can go over here and we can upgrade our headquarters. Upgrade. We do have some cash. Do it. And that means I could upgrade espionage, which I'm going to do straight off. Boom. I'm going to do the credits department because this is a kind of vital department. And um, guards. Let's wait with the guards for a moment. I'm going to go into the investment department, upgrade this guy, and obviously the armory. Boom. So let's see now what we can do now. We can go in here and now we have more slots per staff over here. So we can find more people. However, my money is a little bit low. So I'm going to click one more turn and see here. Resources going up. One more turn. Boom. So we have 8,418 in resources. And um, even though I'm afraid of friends attacking us again, I will try to invest in a war just to get a little bit of cash going. Uh, how about this over here? I'm going to help the Austrian forces. I am. Sell weapons, sell all. And with this gold, we can pretty much go... We can upgrade the guards, we can hire more people, but first of all, let me just see here. We need to do some handshakes, so that relationships are kind of on the downside. So let's have a little meeting, let's have a gathering, let's negotiate a little bit, and uh, now they love us. And the thing about this is that we can actually force Brittany into a war with somebody. 
which is, uh, I love it. But it doesn't really matter because we still have some cash. Do we have any investment to make? Let's see here. Please be iron. It is iron and I can almost afford it. Can we afford it? Okay, France is knocking on the gates, but uh, I'm gonna go to exchange. I'm gonna sell all the civilian goods like that. I'm gonna sell all the things we've got in stock when it comes to weaponry. Stupid move, Kralis. I know, but uh, now we can make an investment in this iron mine and that is gonna be vital. We still have some cash, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna try to hire somebody. We have Otto, Rodney, we have Tobias, Donald, we have Andrew and Rupert, and also Norman and Edgar. Welcome to the evil bank of Corrales. Uh, don't feel comfortable, I am watching you. If you don't behave, I am gonna fire you, maybe even kill you. But is there anything I can do before I end the turn? Um, let's lend some money to Brittany, like that, and let's click next turn. A war has begun. I remember this. This is my nemesis, Aragon. He's attacking the Papal States. And is this the Pope's last stand? Ew. It might be. Okay, I don't want to do this, but I might do this. I'm going to join the war. I'm going to sell some weaponry. I'm going to hell. Evil Bank of Corrales is helping Aragon wipe the Pope or Papal States of the face of the earth. Okay, this might fail, but let's see here. Because, I mean, look at this. The Papa States do have a little bit of friends behind him, but if I click next turn, I'm going to hell. But for the greater good, because now, <laughs> Aragon is spreading like a wildfire in the Italian peninsula, and the Papa States have been wiped out. I guess that is not too shabby. But think about myself, because I don't really have any cash, and the French are just looking, just looking to attack me. His uh, army size is definitely bigger than mine, but it is what they say, it is not the size that matters, it's the motion in the ocean, and if I just join my war, sell all my weaponry over here, my army is now much bigger. And now, it's the motion in the ocean, let's just do next turn, it's still four turns until war happens. Am I really getting, like, we're still producing stuff, not much stuff, but we're producing stuff, and I did gain some cash, which means maybe I can make an investment in a house, not gonna happen. How about the credit department? No offers, because obviously we are in war, so that's not gonna really happen. Next turn. Anything investment? We do have a grain farm. That's not gonna help me. You know what I'm gonna do with the money? I'm gonna actually invest some money in this war as well. Not that I'm afraid. I'm gonna invest 10,260 bucks, and I'm gonna get a cottage. That is one expensive cottage. But I can sell that cottage. So now, friends, you're going down. You have absolutely no chance. Well, you have, but you will lose this war. Click, click. I have officially taken Normandy. We've landed on the beaches. We have taken Normandy. And now I have three beautiful states. When, by the way, is the next upgrade? No, uh, no, 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 no. Here. We need one more region to upgrade this to level... Uh, what is it? Level 2? Level 3? Interesting, ladies and gentlemen, man. So, technically, technically speaking, let's click, let's click, uh, by the way, investment, anything? I can, you know what, I can, can I get rid of the cottage? Uh, real estates. I mean, I don't want this cottage. It's nice that you gave me the cottage. It was well worth it because, I mean, we made 4k almost on that cottage. But what I want to do, I want to click one more time. I'm going to see investments. Gold, gold, green, no, the one that have that, credit department. Let's issue those loans like that. Is there any bank who wants to lend some money, by the way? Nope, no banks. But now, I am gonna go this. I'm gonna go meeting, I'm gonna go gathering, I'm gonna go negotiations. And now, Brittany, do daddy proud. We are attacking Lore, Sane, Picardy, Massif Central. Or the Pyrenees. I'm gonna go for this. Boom. It's gonna cost me 10,600 to force Britain into war, but I'm gonna take that cost. Am I comfortable with this? No. Let's sell some more weaponry. Uh, did we? I think we did. Yes, we did. Next turn, do it. Ladies and gentlemen. And see, we're still like, he's now he's on the offensive. But Brittany is spreading like a wildfire over here. So how, how's this going? See? small army size versus Brittany, which is gaining in army power. I, this is, you know what? This is super addictive. I, I can't explain it. It's just kind of like, it's fun to play. Upgrade headquarters like this. Now we can upgrade our credit department. Boom, we can upgrade this. Like it's, it's a start, it's kind of like a slow start in the beginning. But once you get going, 
once you get going, like once you build a little bit of capital in the bank, everything is just amazing. Investments and everything you can do. I guess we're still under attack, Ross. Yes, we are. But those guys have been upgraded. That is perfect. Now we have cash to invest in the war. We have 34, we have 34 turns into the, into the playthrough. But um, France is attacking. The frogs, they're just coming after us. Yes, 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 yes. Next turn, please. I'm still producing. Should we maybe chip in now? Let's do that. Sell the weaponry we've got. That is gonna turn the tides of war. We shall never surrender. And I'm gonna chip in 20,000 now. Let's do it. Why not? A Brittany property, a stone cutter for <laughs> crap. That was super expensive. But uh, yeah, this, this is ours. This is ours. He's got no chance. Uh, like, unless somebody helps him out. Because I don't think anybody's gonna help him out. Look at this. Boom. We've got it. We've got it. And he's still, is he still attacking us? He's not giving up. Now Picardy is going after us. And look at that. Without my help even, the armies are almost equal in size. But th this sucks, Kanish, because I'm just wasting turns at this stage. Because I can't do anything because France is attacking, obviously. Everything is kind of semi-bad, but we do have a few slots, extra slots over here. So let's just find some peeps into this department. Uh, 10 investment. Uh, okay. Who do we need, by the way? We need one person to investment. Okay. Uh, well, obviously, Marshall welcome and that's about it for the moment we could get better people but i'm happy with the guys we got so let's do next turn an investment found yes indeed first grain and first i'm not gonna invest in this yet but uh how are we doing over here should we invest no let's just wait one more turn now we chip in Brittany, sell weapons all the weapons we've got and i'm not gonna i'm, gonna, I'm not gonna bother anymore because we will win this war we most definitely will win in this war. But the question is, can I loan some people money? I can go over here. Can I... Any bank... Oh, misclicked a little bit. Any banks? Bank Girardo. Is that the French bank? Uh, Banco, Gen Banco Generale. New order bank. 4.4, 9 turns. I guess I'm going to start off small. Go over here. I'm still at 15k. 9 turns. 4.4 return rates. Okay, that might be a terrible mistake, because those guys are costing me quite a bit of cash, and we're kind of under siege. But we're making money. Definitely making money. What is happening over here? Adepts? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna recover my cash. I guess. Yes, cash is, cash is good. Boom! Map. One more turn. Nobody's helping him out. Nobody! He's all alone! Boom! Brittany is almost officially taking the whole continent. Well, not really continent, but <laughs> the, the French landmass. So we do have 15k in weapons, we have 13,000 gold, we have 18,000 in property. And let's uh, see, stone, grain, gold, wood. Buy the wood? Can I buy the wood? No, I don't have the cash for wood. Don't you worry about a thing. Sell those goods. Bam, done it. Invest and buy the wood. So now we will be, we will be making some of the bows or crossbows for next turn. Like, this might be an awkward playthrough or let's play, okay? But you just bear, bear with it because uh, the, the French people are going to be wiped out. Even though Brittany, I guess, no, Brittany is kind of Breton, right? I mean, can't stand for that. Or maybe not. Oh, crap. Cash is, uh, cash is, cash is an issue. If I click this, I'm gonna go bankrupt. So I'm going to go exchange, sell some civilian goods. Perfect, done it. Next turn, 27,000. And if I go into capital, can I force? I don't think I can yet because I think this is on a cooldown. It is eight more moves until we can force those guys into going to war. But uh, French, French people come at me. But you know what? No, I might chip in in some war some, somewhere else. Who's this? What is happening over here? Denmark, Northumbria versus Mercia. Okay, this is like, this is super, super equal. Look at that. 14,000 versus boom, competing banks. Uh, you know what? I might, I might chip in here. I mean, I like Pulse. I mean, I'm not really that fond of fish and chips, but Pulse, Danish Pulse is amazing. I'm gonna chip in over here, sell weapons. Yes, sell my boss, not a lot. Sell a little bit of those guys, I guess, boom, sell. Uh, Evil Bank of Corrales has just chipped in in the war versus Mercia or in England. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to invest any gold up here, but let's click this and let's uh, see. I really want to go into war with France. I want to wipe out France of the face of the earth. But that might not happen. Gold first, gold first, first. No. 
Next turn. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay, this is bad. So now we have the the IMF over here. And I'm not really that rich. So this is a kind of like a bidding war. And here I am. Hopefully I can get some shares. Crap. Unia Bank. Just paid 80,000 gold for 4.8 share in the in the IMF uh, trust. Crap, that sucks. Uh, computer bank did not return the loan? After bank knew what a bank took a loan from you, it's financial, la la la. They have nothing left and do not, did re declared bankruptcy. Crap, I just lost the money I've lent it to them, guys. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's see here. Do we trust anybody over here? 3.2, two turns, 3.2. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna lend them all the cash. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna lend... Maybe not all the cash, because I can't really afford, but those guys could get all of cash. Maybe. No, 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 no. Those guys... 39k. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, Lombardy. I'm gonna go over here. This might... Like, this is dangerous. Lending those guys money, and they might not return them in two turns. Without any interest, we might be screwed. But hopefully that's not gonna happen. A war has begun. Yes! Exactly what I wanted. He's attacking me. Is he? France, Massive Central, look at the army size. <laughs> Join the war, sell all the weapons we can. 52,000 versus 17. Bye bye, friends. He's still got a little bit of uh, areas over here Burgundy, Provence, Languedoc, Pyrenees. But um, it's not really helping him much now, is it? I'm gonna see here. Yes! The, the, the Denmark just took Mercia. Yes, yes, yes. We're helping the Poles up here. Oh my goodness. Sweden. What the hell? What the crap is happening with Sweden? Sweden. You suck. You only have two territories left. Denmark. The Poles are spreading. And Poland. What happened to Poland even? Okay, Poland's still here. They got like a little belt over here. Who is this over here? Moldavia. All right. Let's go over here. One more turn. Nobody's helping him. I'm going to go capital. I do have quite a bit of cash. Can I? Can I? Can I? Farms? No. Investments. What do we have? Grain first. Gold. Gold? Nope. Nothing I want to have here. Credits? Lend, lend, lend. I guess I could just click this button as well. And uh, banks. I'm gonna Hansatic Bank and Bardian per Perugi. Quite a bit of cash you want, guys. But I'm gonna get... So I'm gonna lend you my cash. A few turns, obviously. It's gonna take a while. And how are we doing over here? One more turn. Boom! <laughs> Super addictive. It's quite quite intriguing how this works. But now France only has those little territories left. Let's force a war. Let's force a war with uh, with France. And where do I go? I kind of want to wipe them out. Step by step. Oh, babe. That was like, what was that? Backstreet Boys, right? Boom. Pernice. I'm gonna go, uh, can I please click this? Yes, boom, 11.5k, we are in war, down over here, with, with the French people. And I'm gonna join the war in a few turns, we still have a few turns to spare. Let's do one and two, and now, I am joining the war. Brittany, sell weaponry, sell all. 38 versus 15, we've won this, we will win this. But the question remains, is there any investments? Boom, boom, and boom. Any banks? I don't, don't have much cash, but I do have a little bit. Um, two turns, 3.2 in return rate, 3.6 in five turns. You know, I'm going to go over here. Boom. Bjorn Bank. Bank of Lombardy. Okay, that's, that's enough. I'm clicking. Boom. No. Okay, where do I have 80k? Okay, you know what? I just spam click that. I want to be part of this IMF. Now I do have 3.7% in IMF, and that makes me happy. But this also means that we're out of cash but uh we have eight territories which is quite great because now i can just go over here i'm gonna sell all the civilian goods obviously which i have forgotten about that we had and we have 46k over here which means i can upgrade my headquarters boom i can upgrade this again i can upgrade this yes we do have a adept cottage recover my cash please thank you thank you and uh, upgrade the guards boom upgrade this boom upgrade the farms upgrade the industry and now now we can make now we can start making serious cash believe me okay boom so if i go into investment what do we have do we have anything i want first 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 looking for a good time nothing man give me iron 
Give Me Iron. How about the credits? Lend Dad. We have 13k remaining. How much of the here? Not really that much. Like it's slow. 60 turns in, we are doing a slow job over here. But uh, one day. One day. Like if we have, if we could just upgrade this better. That's going to make a whole world of difference. But we should have the, all the industry up and running. The whole industry is up and running. We're making a crap ton of, of, of stuff and iron and whatnot. But what was I saying? We do have a possibility to, to employ even more people now. And 22 over here. Hire this person. This amazing phase is going to go in to espionage straight off. 11, 20. Hired. Boom. You go into the credits department. So we need to fire those guys, which are like terrible, but I'm not going to do it now. Next turn. Yes. Let's see here. Do we have anything which I want? Iron. Buy it. No regrets. And exchange. Sell all the civilian goods. Boom. Next turn. Credits. Lend. Lend. <laughs> no more lend, because out of money. <laughs> Man, sell all the civilian goods again. Sell, uh, sell all the bows, I guess. Sell those. Or no, you know what? I'm going to invest in a war somewhere about. Boom. Who's this? Oh, I'm going to help out the Nevers army over here, obviously, because they're fighting against the French people. Sell weapons, sell all, yes. And now we have a crap ton of cash, which means credits, lend and lend. We're also going to take back some, uh, some out the thing over here, farm. Recover my cash, please. And I'm going to invest in some banks. Trinity Bank, that is 10 turns. Good return rate, but it's just too long of a term. Templars Bank, boom. Boom, boom, and next turn, please. Yeah, now, now the money's coming in. Look at this. Yes, except 29 in resources. Oh, behave. Who is this down here? The French army is attacking me. I'm even bigger without helping out. Sell weapons, sell all. And uh, I've just dropped the mic. I'm going to invest 20k in this as well. Boom, gold. We got an iron mine. <laughs> you know what? I mean, what can I say? Now, now the real fun begins. Industry, this is disabled. When can I upgrade this guy? Six headquarters. Okay, that's gonna take a while. And one more turn on this ward. Will I win? Territory of France. Yes, I will. That means uh, the French... Uh, the French only have one more territory left. The Provence over here. One more territory. Statistics, I'm numero uno. We have Eve Bank of Corrals on the top. Top value is 314. So after one episode of this series, we're doing quite fantastic. It's not over yet, because I will. I will. I will not... I shall never surrender. No, but I will force uh, in 30 moves. Maybe not. I want the friends to attack me. The final stand, friends. Come on. Attack Brittany. Please do attack Brittany. I told you guys this would come up. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be spank clicking. I want this so bad in my life. Boom, done it. 69k did cost, quite expensive, but now my current share in IMF is 6.2%. It's not that great, okay? He's done it, he's attacked us. Like, why? What are you thinking, friends? Like, honestly, what the crap are you thinking? Like, I'm double sized by default, without even helping. I'm gonna chip in here, I'm gonna sell all my weaponry, like that. We've just sold weapons for 160,000 gold. And, uh, friends, good luck. Good luck to you, okay? I am not even gonna care. We have 232,000 bucks, that is crazy. And we can even recover stuff over here. Recover this, this cash over here. But that means I'm gonna go in here. Who wants some cash? One turn. Bank of Great Tower. 44k for one turn. 3% return rate. I'm doing it. This is bad, because this might be money which goes bye-bye. But uh, we'll see. Three, one turn. Boom. Boom. 3%. 3% on this by one turn. Why not? And I'm, you know what? 4.2 seems legit. Boom. I've lent all my cash. All my cash is gone. Lend it to different states and banks all over the world. But gold is coming back. <laughs> Okay, so did not did they not go bankrupt? Boom! Go into investment. I'm all over the place. I feel it. Mine iron. I can't make use of this yet. But I will. I will buy it. I will definitely buy it. Map. Four more turns until this war commences. How are we doing? Any friends, friends? No friends? No friends? Where is your baguettitos now? You're not helping out, are you? Oh! 
buy. I, you know what? It is expensive. This is too expensive. But it's 7.8% in the IMF share. And now I have 14.1, but that was super, super, super expensive. But what can a man do? Because I'm just winning this war. Boom! It is mine. Brittany has successfully wiped out the friends from the map. And uh, I gotta say, that was amazing. I'm gonna click one more time. I'm gonna go in exchange, sell all the civilian goods. And uh, I'm gonna call it quiz here for today's episode. France has been wiped out. The conquest continues. We have 82 turns into the playthrough. Not that great, but we're still like in the top three banks. Um, not far behind, not far behind be, be, behind the Unia Bank. However, territory wise, we are falling behind. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Do check out the links in the description. Good luck in the giveaway, and I will see you guys in the next episode of this little mini series of Evil Bank Manager. Kerala is over now. Have a very, very, very nice day. We are victorious. France is no more. I am victorious. Bye, everybody.